what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And you are looking at a Curiosity rover image just sent to me from my buddy Shell. Fresh off the, and this is fresh back from space. Um, pretty interesting stuff. It shows some pretty strange looking, uh, uh, what my buddy Shell called a dolmen. I think that's how you say it. And uh, where you have a rock and it's supported by other rocks. And uh, I went and did a little search on the internet because I had no clue what he was talking about. I guess in Neolithic times, these things were all over the, the world. Something new to go look up. I tell you, I, there's always something I'm learning or, or getting into next, especially after being on just YouTube and stuff for so long. There's always some interesting stuff. Well, here it is from NASA, the picture. See how everything is hard to kind of see stuff until you pop it into somewhere like you know, Photoshop here and you hit the auto color button and you get it. So here's without the thing. You can still see this stuff. I mean, it's there or whatever's going on here in this picture. There's this stuff here. There's this over here. And when I, you know, basically here, I'll just show you real quick. I'll hit the auto color on it. See if it'll let me do it. Image, auto color. It didn't take much. And then all I did from there was uh, just basically... For some of them, I blurred it, and then I sharpened it, and some of them, I just sharpened it up. We've got a black and white image. Let me take that off, because I like going back to it. Undo the auto color. Here's the uh, black and white, which is nice, because it takes out the, the filters. Like, there's a bare filter on each one of these images that give that. This See how the color is in here? But it kind of looks off. Like, there's the blue, there's the cyan, or there's the green kind of look to it. Um, that's not on the ground. That's in the picture. But check this out. When you really pull it out with a little bit of the uh, gamma pulled out and everything you get some pretty interesting stuff on this and like I said I kept it so you could go back each time and check this out like that and see that the stuff is there I'm just pulling it out a tad so let's take a look at this thing you saw where it is from that's that's always the description is always linked at the bottom so check out the description go check out the website uh, there's always a link in the description it'll send you to or have this thing over here is going to be cropped out and uh you'll be able to see it much bigger and it'll it'll look huge on your screen and it'll probably be much more cleaned out than you can see it in the like 1080 hd is a lot smaller than believe it or not than even the resolution i have on mine and most people who are into imaging and do this stuff for a living uh, have these type of uh type of setups where we're we're waiting for tv to catch up with us and as you see whenever you go to like best buy especially this time of year it's like christmas season here in america you go and all the new technology and it's like it's always better and better and like i said we're there's always more resolution to be found, and we get stuck with these blurry mass cam shots. But we're looking at a Curiosity rover shot. This is from 1175, so this is uh, has that type of blurriness to it. But there's also some pretty – check this thing out here, too. Let's find it. There's like a little perfectly round thing. There's this piece right here that's kind of just been – blurred out and nothing check it out it just has uh who knows what it actually is and in the picture it kind of just blends in but it gives a little bit of form kind of you know whatever it is it seems to be blurred out um check this piece out up here pretty cool stuff but you know me i like where we find things that look like uh tubes and stuff that goes over and under things you gotta hopefully you guys can see this stuff this isn't like jpeg artifacts right here you've got like a perfect sphere in the middle of something just on a random hill this is like the random heading on out as it's looking this is debris it looks like from the bottom of the lake or something like that this is definitely overflowing this looks like at one time where the sand is all really nice that would have could have been a beach at some time the water could have been out here who knows um, that's just all speculation, but what we're looking at here now is just a bunch of degree. Once again, we're at Uncle Jake's Junkyard, as my buddy Terry from Paris would say. Um, tonight I'm going to be on Hoagland's show again. He's having me on as part of a, a panel. He's really done good. He's helped us out. I tell you what, just uh, learning from those guys over there. There's a lot of good image artists and stuff, and a lot of good a lot of good people that, that work with them. There's only like five of us, really, so... but. I'm learning a little bit from everybody, so it's pretty neat. Let me flip this on over to black and white. See the difference sometimes? You can see where it's all over the color, and then you just kind of take that out, and you can see just a little bit better. Now, let's look at the structure in this piece before we go. And then i got to find the circle piece for you one time. This has 
uh, like rib type things. It's actually, it, it, this is an amazing piece, whatever this is. You can actually see it's, it's carved out. It's got shadow under it for these. It has a piece that cross braces over here. It comes down. Um, let me see how, make, how big I can make it on the screen with that. Here's it in black and white. Here's it directly from NASA. I mean, it's there. But what in the world is it? <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll never know. Listen, everything we do here is speculation. And I try and be very careful now with what I say because I see what I see, you see what you see. When I try and just, uh, I'm putting in this into our terms. Uh, where I, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm putting this into our terms. But whatever this thing is, it does seem to have like a folding top over top of it. This seems to be structured here. Seems to fit with right here. Over here, you've got an interesting piece. Check that out. It's almost like a uh, there's a sphere here and a sphere here. And it's just connected and kind of balanced there. Who knows? I thought you guys thought this stuff was interesting. Here's another circle down here that's got the... Uh, just something on it. it. Looks like kind of a little circle platform. Over here, you're going to find some perfectly straight lines. Check this out. Tell me that doesn't look like it's been cut out. Just perfectly cut out there as a square piece to it. We look like we're looking at platforms and um, water could do that. The weight of water can press stuff down. This, like I said, this if this was right off the water, I could see some of this being you know pushed down. Once again, that real mysterious blurry patch just randomly there. Here's some square stuff. Oh, yeah, there's an S up here that I got to see. First, I got to find this perfectly circle thing for you guys because this thing is killing me to find. Where are you? Oh, there it is up here. That's not even it. Oh, there's another one right there. See, this is why the arrow thing used to work for me. <laughs> I used to do the arrow thing ahead of it, and then I'd be sitting there staring at the beginning of the uh, videos at all these arrows. And if I didn't do it right, I, I'd be the whole time, I'd be like, man, I missed that one arrow. I can't find it. it the, it's almost, it was just a perfect circle bottom that had like a basin with it. And man, that bugs me. I can't find it for you. We'll come back down here one more time for it. Let's go up to the top of this one and look. Just real fast at this. Now, this is an interesting piece. Just kind of has some shape to it. Now, the deep zooming, I can't tell you what that is other than saying it's interesting. Just like up here, you've got different shapes. But when you get down and actually see shapes that are geometrical, and uh, that's you start thinking, whoa, that seems pretty cool. Those it looks like they might have been worked. This piece, this block piece down here. Um, see how it's got. Yeah, it might not be. Like I said, it could just be chipped off somewhere in a perfect chip. But you know what we do here. We take you on a little tour of Mars. This little piece, sorry if you guys are getting sick, kind of cool here. Check that out. Comes off the side. Little spheres. Like I said, I think this part was definitely underwater at one time. You can always see the wetness when you add the, when I hit the color. There it is right there, that little, that's a little sneaky thing. Check that out. It's like a circle, and it's got some sitting in the middle of it. Hopefully, you guys can see that. I mean, it's pretty dead on. You can see it just as simple there. Pretty cool, huh? I thought so, at least. And this, like I said, this stuff isn't huge. And that goes along with my theories. I don't think the people of Mars were absolutely huge. I think if we were to look at our rovers compared to these uh, beings, whoever made this stuff, and maybe some were different size than others, I think they might see us as, like, Godzilla, so... What do you guys think this is? This is what I'm really interested in. And that and over here. What are we looking at? Trash, garbage, nothing. This could just be rocks. Like I said, I give that. Here you've got a beveled piece. It looks like it's a piece of metal from something. What do you guys think? All right, guys. Much love to you. Hope you had a good one. I'm going to get ready. Good to take a nap so I can get ready for Hoagland Show. And other side of midnight.com. Go check it out. What's up in the sky.com. Much love. Peace.